What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 10 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. We are, for one last time, taking the Zunala team out for a spin. Uh, apologies for no video this morning. I am going to be out of town for the next couple days and I figured it made more sense to kind of hold off on starting a new team for when I get back instead of trying to do one before going and one coming back. So, looking at my opponent's team, it is... Uh, is uh, sorry. It is a Zacian team. It is going to be uh, Rillaboom or Shifu with Ryulu, Entei, Landorus, and Zacian. So I really like Suicune, Volcarona with Lunala and Naganado. I think that that makes the most sense. Uh, one thing to obviously be very weary of is going to be Urshifu, which I have to assume is Urshifu Water of the fact that you can go for a surging strike through protect and i mean i could risk i could risk the flame body connecting as a way to set up tailwind and then going for like a giga drain on a potential switch as we do see jizashi and ryulu so that's actually um that's pretty fine with me it could just be uh, a coaching variant and you shouldn't really have a good way to deal damage into volcarona so I do want to try and set up uh, a Tailwind as well as... Let's go for a Tailwind. Mm. Yeah, let's go for a Tailwind and a Quiver Dance. I think that's really greedy to double set up. But I think it should be fine. We are gonna, And perfect, we're going to see a Withdraw. So even better. Uh, into her Shifu. So that's actually totally fine with me. Because of the fact that we do have Giga Drain. So we will see coaching come out. This means we are going to be faster. And with the co with the, the Quiver Dance boost, Giga Drain should be an easy KO. Um, so Volcarona is going to get set up. We are going to be able to, like I said, go for a Giga Drain. And even if you're going for... Um, what's it called? Yeah, we should be able to KO before you're able to get off your Surging Strikes. I'm going to go for a Scald just to be safe, as well as uh, a Giga Drain. Just because of the fact that it's not 100% guaranteed. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, I respect that. We will get the Giga Drain off, but... Yeah, that means that we're not going to get the Scald off before they're able to hit with Surging Strikes. Oh, wait, I don't care. I have Rocky Helmet. <laughs> okay. Uh, we get a flame body burn, but it's not going to matter because you are going to go down to the Rocky Helmet chip. Um, Ryulu can go for <laughs> Surging Strikes, theoretically. But this puts... Oh, we are... Oh, we get uh, Scald into Ryulu. Please get a burn. No burn. That's fine. So this is tricky, right? Volcarona is so low. We do really need it for Zacian. As we are going to see Entei just come out. I... What? I'm fine to go for a Scald into Entei and just go for a Protect on Volcarona. And it uh, looks like they're going to cancel. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Like, Suicune was going to was gonna handle Entei. I had the ability to switch out really quickly uh, and take advantage of that. So definitely a really short one, but always a, a good way to start. And let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next battle. All right, battle number two, and it is Necrozma. It is Necrozma Duskmane. So this is a, a really scary team. It's Necrozma Stack Attacka with Perserker. Uh, what is this? What is it called? Pelipper, Araquanid, and Amoongus. So uh, there's a lot of things to be wary of. That Perserker is scary. I think I'm going to need Stack with the boost to have any real sort of chance of winning. Um, I kind of like Volcarona stack with Rillaboom and Lunala. Volcarona still has the ability to flame body things, but we do obviously have to be a little bit weary of Araquanid. I think this is a, a really good question of like, what is my opponent going to bring? Uh, I could try and just force no Trick Room with Naganadel. But Naganadel, I feel like, isn't actually doing that much more than what the rest of the team would be doing. Um, Volcarona. Bulk stack. I'm going to lead this. 
I think it's theoretically fine. Um, we do... Ironically, Pelipper is the scariest part of this team. I, like, don't have a good way of dealing with it. So, we'll kind of see how Pelipper plays out. Pelipper lead is the probably the scariest thing. That probably is a Pelipper. Okay, it's Necrozma. Necrozma with... Um, what's it called? With Perserker. That's fine. You have to go for Steel-type attacks. Um... I would very much like to Fiery Dance here, and then I'm going to go for a swap into Rillaboom. You do have, I know you have Steely Spirit to boost the damage done by Necrozma, but like this is a stack attack. Why did I switch out? Switching out was like kind of pointless, but I know that sometimes Necrozma does run coverage moves. So having, I think the flexibility um, and also the fake out potential is really nice. This will make, make it so when stack switches in, I do get to plus one. So I'm interested to kind of see how this plays out. I'm guessing there's a chance they don't have Pelipper. Them not having Pelipper is actually really big because it means that like my damage output is so much better. Um, Rillaboom is going to come in. So it is going to be a little tricky because now I am going to be boosting uh, their damage output. But I think that that should be fine overall. Let's see. Um, we will see just a fake out from Perserker. So that's totally fine. I'm guessing expecting a Trick Room. Uh, Fiery Dance comes out into this Necrozma. Does a, a decent chunk. Uh, we do get the special attack boost, which is great. We are going to proc a policy, unfortunately. And I'm guessing you're going to attack into Rillaboom. Most likely a... Okay. That's, that's perfectly fine. Because uh, now we threaten a fake out and a KO. So I'm fine to try to KO Perserker, right? I can go for, I'm fine to Fiery Dance into Perserker and go for a Fake Out. I'm gonna Fake Out here, just in the potential you don't protect. Cause I think even at plus two, you shouldn't really be doing much to Volcarona. And I'd rather be able to uh, knock out what's giving you an additional boost. And then I can kind of force I can force a scenario where I'm like gonna get good damage on you regardless. Uh, we also do still have stack. Stack should be able to easily handle Volcar or not Volcarona. Um, what is it called? Um, this thing at uh, plus two. We are just gonna see a swap from Perserker. This could very well be uh, Araquanid. As yep, it is gonna be Araquanid. Definitely a little bit unfortunate for me, but. That's actually really bad for me. <laughs> um, Fiery Dance is going to do nothing here. It's actually a decent chip. That's actually a really decent chip. I'm going to try to Giga Drain into Araquanid. Uh, what happens this turn? What happens this turn? I'm going to Fiery Dance here. And go for a knockoff onto Araquanid. I could double up Calyrex. I mean, not Calyrex, Necrozma. I'm going to double up Necrozma. We are going to see a straight liquidation into uh, Volcarona. Volcarona will go down. We will at least get Rocky Helmet Chip onto uh, you, which is great. We should... We will see a Sunsteel Strike. Um, this is gonna do a lot. This probably is gonna get a knockout. Survey says... Yeah. Critical hit. Don't think that that mattered. So we are down two to four, but I think that's fine. We do have stack, which is gonna get a boost. We do have a rock slide, which has the chance to flinch. So we have you, we have you. We can go for a moon guys beam onto their necrozma. Or, yeah, because the thing is, like, can I KO Araquanid with stack? I really wish I could have protected this turn. We are at plus one defense. So I'm fine to do this, and then I'm going to Moongeist Beam here, expecting the chance that Necrozma might go for a protect. Right? You might protect and try to KO that way. So we can rely on... 
We can really just try and rely on the plus one from stack in terms of the defense stat to take this liquidation that I don't really expect to take. You could swap into Pelipper to try and KO me that way. Uh, Necrozma should be slower than Lunala. So definitely something scary there. Um, we are just going to see them stay in. A double K or connect with Rock Slide. Not enough for a KO, unfortunately, which is uh, really scary for us. We do get a huge flinch. That's a, a really big deal as um, Sun Steel Strike will come out and connect onto Lunala. Or, yeah, definitely onto Lunala. We are going to take that really well as a result of uh, the, the shield thing. As a result of Necrozma. This Shadow Shield, that's what it is. We will be able to pick up the KO there onto Araquanid. So we do get rid of a really big threat. The flinch definitely was a little bit lucky, but I mean, I, it happens, <laughs> I say, because it's benefiting me. Um, we do have stack in a really good position now. We know you have Perserker in the back, which shouldn't be too scary, especially because we've confirmed uh, its physical Necrozma. So what I'm thinking is we can try and KO whatever, whatever is next to Necrozma, which looks like a moon. Um, that's really bad. Uh, there's one turn of Trick Room left, so I'm going to protect. That's really bad. That's actually really bad. That's like the worst, arguably the worst choice to come in. Because I don't think I can, you know that I'm not safety goggles. Um... I can't live another Sunsteel Strike. We will connect with this Gyro Ball for... <laughs> and it's Rocky Helmet. Great. Uh, Spore into stack is really free. We will see a, a Sunsteel Strike come out into Lunala. Um, I mean, stack's, stack is super healthy. And you shouldn't have a way to deal damage into it. Theoretically. Um... I only, but I can't live another Sunsteel Strike, and that's the problem. Um, I can't live another Sunsteel Strike, and there's really actually nothing stopping you from just sporing into me every turn. I'm just going to waste <clears throat> a turn that way, and I'm going to click Moon Geist Beam into you. Um, there is a chance this works. Yeah, you're, ju you're just going to Rage Powder here. Um... We will at least get really good damage with this uh, Sunsteel Strike, or not with the Sunsteel Strike, with this Moon Geist Beam. So that's always nice. It's actually really good damage. Uh, Sunsteel Strike is going to come out, and that should unfortunately KO Necrozma. I mean, not Necrozma, uh, KO Lunala. As yeah, we will lose Lunala here. I can. What? I pressure the Trick Room. I go for a Trick Room. Because I can't, I can't, I don't know how I'm going to deal enough damage into everyone. Uh, body press is not very effective. Rock slide does nothing. I think I have to set up Trick Room. So what I have to do is I have to get up Trick Room. Uh, hope that they don't have, oh, because you're going to switch in for Steely Spirit. <clears throat> That's f potentially fine. Um, Sun Seal Strike is going to come out. That should do, hopefully not a lot. Uh, no, because you're plus three. You're plus three with, or plus two with Steely Spirit. Yeah. Stack being asleep pretty much seals this one up. So. I'm just trying to think, like, what, what could I have done differently? I think we let Necrozma set up too quickly, and I didn't target it enough. Um... I could have, um... I don't know. I don't really know, yeah, what the, what the best way would have been. Um, yeah, it is pretty standard. It is super specially defensively bulky, which is why it took that hit really well. Uh, very standard Necrozma. Pretty standard. Uh, actually, pretty interesting stack. Some special defense. You don't see that every day uh, with Wide Guard. Perserker, yeah, Steely Spirit. So 
Fake Out made that a little bit tricky. I was really worried about Pelipper. I guess... I guess I could have brought Suicune. Did I bring Suicune? I think I did. I forget. Um, no, I didn't. I brought... Yeah, I didn't bring Suicune. I think Suicune would have been an okay option because of the fact that I could have burned Necrozma. So maybe... Yeah, so a lead of Volcarona Suicune would have actually been really good because it would have had the chance to burn. Um, and it would have been a better matchup into uh, Araquanid. But, I mean... Overall, it, it was a good second battle, um, and let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. Alright, last battle of the day, and it is Zacian. It is Zacian with another rain core. It is um, Zacian Urshifu with Ludicolo, Pelipper, uh, Incineroar, and Porygon 2. So Suicune I think is great here. I really like Suicune, I really like Volcarona. Uh, I like Naganadel and probably Lunala. Rillaboom doesn't really have good use here. Yeah, I don't see a good use for Rillaboom, and I can't really see a good way of setting up uh, Trick Room for Stack. So let's go with this. We do have to obviously be weary of a, a lot of different things, like Fake Out from Pel or from uh, Ludicolo is big. A Hurricane from Pelipper can cause issues. Urshifu can be scary, but if we can set up against it we do have ways to deal with it uh so that's always really nice we are going to see porygon 2 next to zashian so that's fine i have a pretty easy i have a pretty easy double up into zashian or not even a double up i am fine to what set up volcarona and scald into zashian just in the event that you want to set up. Porygon's going to get an attack raise. We love to see that. I'm going to go for Scald here, as well as a Quiver Dance. Just in the event that you protect Zacian. Uh, even if you set up Trick Room, we're still in a really good spot. So let's let's kind of see how this plays out. Uh, we do have to obviously be weary of Rain. I feel like you definitely are going to bring, bring it. We are going to see just play rough. So no Protect there. So that's a, a really bold play. We are going to get a Quiver Dance off. Uh, if we burn with Scald, I think that that puts us just in a phenomenal offensive position. But we'll see how that plays out. Scald, going to connect, going to do some good damage. Survey says no burn. As an Icy Wind. Interesting. So, um, we are going to be back to our same attack or our same speed stat. But, what? They are going to go for play rough. We can't switch into Naganadel, unfortunately. Um, but what we can st i say we still go for a tailwind there's nothing wrong with it uh and i'm gonna f you could protect zashian i'm gonna fiery dance because if you protect zashian we get up a tailwind so it doesn't matter you could set up trick room to like super reverse psychology me but if i mean if you do that like props to you uh you know that i want to go for the fiery dance so there is a, a really good incentive as you are going to just stay in and miss which is uh, really unfortunate for you, as Fiery Dance will connect. This will pick up the KO onto Zacian, which is really great. We also do get a special attack raise, so even better. Um, as we will set up the Tailwind, I'm hoping for no Trick Room, because that would... Uh, I think Trick Room is fine. We are going to see just another Icy Wind. So now, now we are in a phenomenal position in terms of speed control. Um, we can now really pressure whatever wants to come out, especially given all the boosts that we've acquired. Um, we do need to figure out how to get rid of this Porygon, but I think Volcarona should be able to do that in the end game, especially because we do have the ability to set up in front of it, and it can't really do too, too much, as we've just seen mainly Icy Wind. So let's see what they choose to bring out. It is going to be Pelipper. So Pelipper... Pelipper is fine. Pelipper is fine because of the fact that Giga Drain is neutral. And we are at plus two special defense. I'm going to go for a Snarl here. As well as... I'm going to Giga Drain their Pelipper. We should be able to take a Hurricane. Given where we are. This is going to also significantly... Okay, that did a lot. Um, so just as long as we live a Hurricane, which we should... Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, we missed Porygon too. That's fine. Get some really good chip onto Pelipper, also lowering its special attack. 
as we do see just a scald not trying to risk anything uh we take that super well we can't get burned because of the fact that it's volcarona as a tri attack is going to come out into volcarona as well so that's great we're not getting a, a drop in speed and now we are also in range of just KOing uh, Pelipper with one attack. So we can go for, we can Scald here really safely and go for another Giga Drain onto Pelipper. Just trying to recover back uh, a little bit. And unfortunately, uh, our opponent is going to cancel that one. I think, I think it, it did make sense like at that point, right? Like we are having so much presence with Volcarona. And I think, mm, I think it's, it still would have been close. I think it still would have... Mm, I'm trying to think of how things would have been different if you had hit that play rough. Because it means we wouldn't have gotten a Tailwind. But we would have still KO'd Zacian. We still would have been able to tank those hits very well. And even at, even without the Snarl, I think we still would have lived. We did have uh, Lunala to KO uh, their Urshifu. But maybe... Yeah, maybe they had Urshifu in the back. And when they saw Giga Drain, it was like kind of over. But because this was so short, uh, let's play one more. Yeah, just to, to end things off, and yeah, let's keep rocking and rolling, and I'll see you all in the last one. All right, last battle of the day, and it is Caloric Shadow. It is uh, Caloric Shadow with Entei, Rillaboom, Regieleki, Urshifu, and Suicune. So there's a lot of different ways that this can go. I really like Suicune. Suicune, I think, is big. I like Naganadel. Rillaboom and Lunala. Uh, what am I afraid of? I, uh, I'm going to actually do Suicune Rillaboom. Or, yeah, Suicune Rillaboom. Just because that accounts for the potential of Regieleki Calyrex. Because Regi Regieleki Calyrex is scary because of the fact that you can lower speed and then go for big damage. And if I had led with Naganadel, you can easily pick up the KO that way. Uh, I do have to be obviously a little bit cognizant of Entei. Right? It, it, you could do Entei with Calyrex, which is equally scary. As we are going to see Entei Suicune. So, not ideal. We do have a pretty easy switch from, uh, from Rillaboom into Naganadel. And then setting up a Tailwind. Yeah, let's set up a Tailwind here and go for a swap into Naganadel. We can then try to go for a Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor and Scald into Entei. Just because I want to try and get as much. I want to try and get rid of Entei. Because then we have a, a really safe option in a Calyrex. As we will see, just, yep, a Sacred Fire. We do take that pretty well. Uh, luckily, no burn. We are also potentially faster than their Suicune. It could be a speed tie. Or they could Whirlwind. They are going to Tailwind as well. So, good for us. Um, they don't have any dragons. Or not dragons, any fairies as far as I remember. Uh, so, nothing really wants to take a Draco Meteor. So, I'm fine to double up into this slot. Just because this Entei is the thing I fear the most. And obviously, like hitting it with a Draco Meteor would be great. And I think once it's gone, like, Rillaboom is in such a fantastic position. And obviously, like, whatever comes in isn't going to like this. They're going to stay in. We are going to hit. Thank you, Naganadel. We really appreciate that for hopefully big damage. That's really good damage. Um, we might get Bulldozed, which is never fun. We're going to see, in fact, just a Stone Edge into Naganadel, which we do manage to survive. Naganadel coming in clutch. Uh, Scald coming out for really big damage here as well. I don't think that crit mattered too, too much, but, um, you know, it's, it's always nice. We will see an Ice Beam come out. This should go into, yep, into Naganadel. So, unfortunately, we are going to lose Naganadel, but I think it's fine. I think getting rid of the Entei was such a, a big hindrance, and now Rillaboom is able to come in safely, and we can go for things like Scald. We do have um, knockoff potential, so that's really huge, especially because we're faster. As, I mean, if we're speed tied, we've won twice. As it is going to be Calyrex. So, we have a really safe... Um, I want to go for a Snarl. I'm going to go for a Snarl and... I'm going to Grassy Glide into Suicune. The Protect is very obvious. And they don't go for it. <laughs> Love to see that. We have to take an Astro Barrage. Go team! 
That's really bad. That was not supposed to happen. We can Okay, so we can easily take this. Uh, we are EV to survive it super well. We do hit the Snarl. That's awesome. Big damage onto both. And we should be able to live this Ice Beam fairly comfortably too. So that's always really nice. You're not getting any boosts on um, your Calyrex as... Oh, we, we eat that. Rillaboom coming in clutch, taking full advantage of everything. Um, we can live, so we can live another Astral Barrage, I'm pretty sure. And so what I'm thinking of is KOing the Suicune and going for another Snarl of our own. Right, we, we should be able to pressure mm, Snarl and I want to Grassy Glide into Calyrex. I'm going to Grassy Glide here, just because of the fact that, okay, they are going to cancel. I don't think it was over. I think that they still had a fighting chance. We are getting a lot of cancels, but um, I think it makes sense. This was a, a really fun run with the team. I really recommend checking it out. It does some cool stuff. Uh, curious about their team as to why they might have ran. It is focused. Okay, so it is focused Ash Calyrex, so that's why we were able to uh, take the damage so well. Very standard. We are seeing Inner Focus, Safety Goggles, very cool. Uh, Sacred Fire, Stone Edge, Extreme Speed, and Roar. So yeah, no Protect, we were able to do good work with Naganadel. Just tanking hits. Rillaboom, interesting. Max HP, Max Special Attack on Regieleki, still very fast. With Hyper Beam, cool. Not something you see every day. Uh, our Shifu Dark, I think would have given me a lot of problems, especially because it is a, a Life Orb variant, but I mean, we did just have so much damage on board it, it did make sense rindo berry suicune pretty standard bulky one uh scald yeah and yeah definitely faster there and then yeah we're back to calorie so overall like i said it's been a really fun run with this team definitely make sure to check it out if you're looking for a lunala team i'll be gone for a couple days we'll be back to working through the rental teams we'll be also featuring some other teams we got zamazenta on deck we've got uh pretty much all the other restricteds that we haven't used as well as some other really cool teams in the interim. So look forward to that. And until next time, I hope